Okay, I'm going to do this video on adding and subtracting mixed numbers using a number line. So this is what we've been doing in uh, class the last couple days. I'm going to do two quick, um, two quick problems. So let's start with, uh, also if you can give me a follow on YouTube, that would be fantastic. Um, okay, so let's look over here. We have three plus two and one fourth. So what you want to do here is, well, you draw your number line, okay? And we want to look and let's see what we have for our holes first. We know we have three holes and we have two holes. So we're going to start our number line like we should always start when we're adding. We're going to start it at zero, okay? What I like to do here is if I'm starting at zero and I know that my first hop is going to be the three holes, then I know I'm going to do two holes. So I know three and two is five. Then I have to add uh, another fraction. So I should, my whole, my number line should go up to six, but let's take it one step at a time. So my first jump is going to be three hops. So it does not have to be perfect. So I could take here and say that's my first jump to get to three. Okay. So in here, I added three. Then, then I'm going to look at my next hole, which is two. So my next jump is going to be another two, which will take me to five. Okay. So I've now added my two holes, my three holes and my two holes. Now I need to add one fourth. Now, although we may just say, okay, well, if I'm at five, because three plus two is five, can I just add one fourth? Well, you can, but it won't always work uh, depending on the example. So let's take a look. If I now have to add one fourth, well, what am I going to put next on my number line? If I'm going to be adding a fourth, well, I would have to add another hole, all right? And I'm going to split that hole up into fourths, all right? So if I look here, oh, I thought that was the highlighter. I'm going to split, sorry, one, two, three, all right? Because three tick marks is going to split it up into four equal pieces, one, two, three, and four. And each one of those tick marks is going to be a fourth. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, okay? And now, so if I added, I added my three holes, my two holes, and now I need to add one fourth, I'm at the five, I'm gonna take one more jump and add my one fourth. And where am I? Right here. Well, I am five and one fourth. So my answer is five and one fourth. In keeping in your head, if we're converting everything into fourths, we know that zero here would be the same as zero fourths. Three would be 12 fourths. Five would be 20 fourths. So if we kept on going, that would be 21 fourths. And this does equal 21 fourths. Remember, when we've gone over converting a mixed number into a improper fraction, four times five is 20, plus one is 21 over four. 21 over four. All right, so I'm going to erase that and leave us right here. Now, I'm going to pull up on the screen our next equation, which is four minus one and three fourths. Well, once again, we know we have four holes. We're subtracting one hole and three fourths of a hole. So I'm going to start my number line how I always should. I'm going to start it at zero. 
So I started at zero and now I have a more definitive end to my number line because if I have four and I'm subtracting from the four, we know that the, the greatest number on my number line is going to be four because I'm not going to have more than four because I'm subtracting from it. So I'm going to subtract what first? I'm subtracting the one hole first. So I'm going to take one jump backwards. That's going to give me three. All right, so I should use, let me use there. That's one, which is going to give me three. Now I can write in here, here's my number line. We know in the middle is going to be two and that is one. So I can just fill it in, especially when we're working with low numbers like here. So we took our one jump and our one jump from four went back to three. But now I'm not done because I still have to subtract three fourths from where I'm at. I'm at three and subtract three fourths. Well, if I make one more jump, that's a hole. I don't want to subtract a hole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this hole into four equal pieces. All right. And we know this would be a fourth. This would now be two fourths. This would be three fourths. So really what you have is two holes. Then you have two and one fourth, two and two fourths, two and three fourths. How did I know to break that up into fourths? Look at your denominator in your, in your problem right up here. Fourths. That lets you know what you're breaking up your holes up into. So I can break up each of my holes into three equal pieces, uh, four equal pieces. I can. But now let's go back. So we started over here at four holes. I subtracted one and took us to three holes. And now I'm just going to make one more, uh, three jumps, three fourths. Now watch, I'm going back one fourth, minus one fourth, minus another fourth, minus another fourth. That is our three fourths. And where do we wind up? We are winding up right here. Whoop, sorry. This is two and one fourth. It's not just two, it's two and one fourth. So that is our answer, two and one fourth. And that's how we showed this on the number line. So that is adding and subtracting mixed numbers using a number line. And you can right here, if you want to give me a follow, if you actually get to the end of this, follow the math guy on YouTube and have a great day.